It did not have to be this way. While the area around an MRI can be dangerous, a little information is all that is needed to keep everyone safe. The disasters that befell our little friends can be avoided. Our goal in this video is to share tips for MRI safety with members of the hospital team to avoid the tragedies, disasters, and panic which we saw our little friends experience. The number one rule of MRI safety is that the magnet is always on and always dangerous. It is on when it is making images, it's on when it's not making images. It's on in the daytime, it's on in the nighttime. It's on when the building has electrical power. It is even on when the building does not have electrical power. The magnet is always on. The magnet is very strong. It can pull an office chair into it with over a half ton of force. The force changes rapidly in space. A slight tug on something can a Hulk smash a half a step closer to the magnet. All ferrous things, keys, scissors, air tanks, fire extinguishers, firearms, bionic arms, need to stay out of the magnet room or they can become a projectile which will injure or pin someone to the magnet. Such unsafe things should be securely stored in the designated areas outside of the magnet room or in the control room or be properly secured by a member of the MRI team. Electronic devices need to stay out of the magnet room. Their batteries are almost always magnetic and the magnetic field of the MRI can break them. This includes electronics inside of you. People with pacemakers, neurostimulators, and medicine pumps can be seriously injured or killed from malfunctions of the devices when near MRI systems. There are always two emergency buttons at an MRI. One button turns off all electrical equipment and should be pushed if there is a fire. This button leaves the magnet on. A second button turns off the magnet. This button should only be used if a life is in danger. It can cause dangerous situations, including displacement of all oxygen in the room, or an explosion. The door to the magnet room is important. Only a trained individual can come through that door after they screen themselves for safety, and only a highly trained individual, one with much more training this video offers, can let someone else through it. We need to make sure that this door is always closed so someone isn't going to go through it. If you ever see an accident or a near accident, it is important that you report it to the MRI team so that they can learn from it and make improvements to safety procedures. There are exceptionally trained people here who manage safety around MRI systems. These people include a physician or MRMD who oversees clinical safety, a physicist or MRSE who knows a whole bunch about risks in their management, and a technologist or MRSO who is the first point of contact for all MRI safety questions. These people are responsible for MRI safety here and can help with any questions you may have. Finally, when arriving at an MRI, it is important to follow the directions of the people at the facility who work with it. They know about the dangers of the system and they can help you do your job and keep others safe. Keeping all of these points in mind will help keep you and our patients safe. Many thanks to the cast and the crew of this video, and to you for learning about MRI safety.